7th December 2023, I'm in one of the libraries and here you can see a selection of books for parents and children. Parenting, welcome to the library and look at this one. <clears throat> I won't say the word, it's a root word, science-based strategies for better parenting from tots to teens. So just pulling out, you can see a whole range of books. This is the children's section. So I'm just going to go slowly through this. Classic Charlotte's Web. Classic children's story. And then we get into other types of stories. There's one about you know what. There's more about you know what, fascination with the subject. There's that word. There's that word as well. Another one. Another one. So what's the point? We know this is 2023 and times have changed and books have changed along with it. Of course, we know what time of year it is. Plenty of these type of books here. There's You Know Who. Another one. Ironically, here's one for blind people. The blind guiding the blind, of course. Here's another one here. What's the point? I have yet to see any books here that we would call, from a Christian viewpoint, talking about the real meaning of Jesus, the reason for the season. bookshelves are full of books and of course what happens is you are feeding the minds of children with ideas and thoughts there's that one there and we've seen it progressively over the last 20 30 40 years where the books are like a barometer, a barometer of the climate in a country. Of course, this is a Western country where the preoccupation is with the Western message about this time of year, which is, as we've said it before, commercialism, materialism, consumerism. And here we have two fictitious characters combined drawing children who are interested in the cartoon character into another character. There's another one. Two characters combined. And so it goes on. 
sign of the times. Not seen one book here about the real meaning of Christmas because it's the year 2023. Is society going to change for the better? We'd like to think so. Is society going to change for the worse? That is certainly the trend of how things are developing in the West. In the Middle East, of course, is a different type of atmosphere. Here's another one, very telling of the signs of the times. Fascination with the occult, hidden things. There's another one there. Fascination with that word there. And so how can we pray? Jesus changed the minds of the authors. That would be good. But if they're not interested in Christ, there's another one. Another fascination with that subject. And of course, this is just the ones on show. And here is a very worrying trend right there. Another one. What's that about? There you go, another topical one right there. The trend is, of course, getting worse. Here's the title which might interest us. This is the way. And of course we know John 14, 6. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. So we'll leave it there. I just happened to be here just to do some photocopying and my eye went to this section which is dedicated to parents and their children and this is a supposedly safe place for them. Oh look, I found a section here. Religion. Oh, Norse myths, mythology, the secret life of unicorns, robots, zombies, myths and legends, everything mythology, and that is supposed to be religion. Well, it could be modern religion, but it's not even Christian religion. The world has increasingly rejected Jesus Christ, Christianity, the way of Jesus, the truth of Jesus. What can we do? Pray. But the truth is, God cannot change the minds of anybody who doesn't want their minds changed. This is a modern issue, using the M word there again. None of the solutions to modern day problems with children, none of these solutions appear to have anything to do with Jesus. Jesus who came to set the captives free, to release the prisoners, Isaiah 61. So, as I said, we're going to leave it here and just look at the little section on religion Maybe a dozen books there, none of them about Jesus, none of them about Christianity. So we keep praying and asking Jesus to make a way where there seems to be no way into the minds and hearts of the parents, the teachers, the governors and the educators in the UK and beyond. We ask you, Jesus, to pour out your spirit, Lord God, Father, upon the children that the children would have a great sense of change in themselves and they will start to 
for you, Lord, to start to use the children to teach the teachers what the teachers should know by now is there are two kingdoms, light and darkness. So we leave it with you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen.